Hello my friends, I hope everybody's well and having a fantastic weekend wherever you are in the world. I'm in, um, in LA and it's a beautiful day as you can see and um, I just wanted to, to make a quick mention of the, um, the Worldwide Awareness Week that's just come to an end um, regards to the dog and cat meat trade, the global dog and cat meat trade. And um, before I say anything else, don't worry, I'm not going to share any, any shocking videos. Um, I don't do that, as you know. But I do want to highlight this and, and give you something that you can share with people as widely as possible, because we need to get this awareness up as high as possible to put an end to this, this grisly trade that takes place um, in various parts of the world. Don't think for a second it's limited to just places like... Um, the Far East, that's not the case. It's happening all over the world in some very disturbing ways. Um, sometimes people, when I talk about dog, or anyone talks about the dog and cat meat trade, people will say, you've got to allow cultures to be what they are. Um, and I understand that viewpoint, but there's a very, very specific reason why this isn't really the case in this, uh, in this scenario. And that's because without wishing to ruin anyone's day, when people who eat dog and cat eat dog and cat, what they do is um, is they torture the animals to death because they believe that the adrenaline tenderizes the meat and makes it taste better and then therefore gives more um, uh, of the, the mythical medicinal effects that they, they seem to think these things have. They just don't. It's not true. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. The trade is, is gruesome and... Um, the things that happen to these dogs and cats are literally beyond comprehension and we cannot allow that to happen. Now, the only reason it's going to continue to happen is if apathy wins and apathy is, um, is people just not either getting involved or people not thinking they can help if they do get involved. And none of those things would be true. So, um, there's so much you can do and, um, one of the things that I would urge you to do is, uh, as I made reference to the Worldwide Awareness Week, which has just come to an end, it was June 2nd to 8th, but that, and that's just finished, um, as you know, but but it's an actu actually it's an ongoing campaign. So if any of you guys get onto, uh, if you just search for a, a, a Facebook event called Worldwide Awareness Week, or Worldwide Awareness Day slash week is what I think it's actually down as, and on there you'll find Gillian Taylor and anybody who's hosting or wishing to hold any event, however big or small, relating to the dog and cat meat trade and putting an end to it, can let Gillian and the, the uh, awareness team know and they will collaborate with you and do everything they can to, to raise additional awareness and spread the word about your, your, um, your campaigns. Now, the other thing that you all know from my other broadcast that I don't do is I don't share a link to an external page because the algorithm will then mean that you less of you guys see this so it's important that everybody sees this so please share this as far and wide as you can and in the comments what I'm going to do is invite people to send or to to uh, add petitions any petitions you're aware of and there are many of them out there there are um, various groups doing doing petitions Humane Society International Animal Aid to name just two um, Please share them as comments. And uh, see, Rosemary has just commented, and this is why I'm doing this broadcast, is because Rosemary's saying that she's never heard of this dog and cat meat trade. It's not just very odd, it's, it's, it's utterly barbaric. And um, there are tens of millions of dogs and cats that are uh, subjected to this and, and fall victim to this trade every year. Now, one of the most frightening statistics, and again, this comes back to where sometimes and I'm not one of these people by the way sometimes people will say that we need to leave these other cultures to do what they do because you know who are we to say they can't eat dog when we're eating cows and sheep and chickens I'm not of course I'm a vegan but um, one of the simple reasons for that that I've already talked about is the fact that they torture these animals uh, before they kill them because they think the meat tastes better the other thing is Animal Aid did a very, uh, sorry, not Animal Aid, uh, Animals Asia did a very um, comprehensive study about three years ago. This study ended, I think it was 2015, in which they, they demonstrated and concluded that the number of, and this sounds awful talking about this, but this is just a reality, the number of dogs and cats farmed for the dog meat trade 
is absolutely minuscule in the bigger picture. So in, in other words, they couldn't possibly fulfill the demand. There's tens of millions of dogs and cats being killed and eaten every year. And there's not enough dogs and cats being farmed in order to fulfill that demand. What that therefore gave Animals Asia the ability to conclude is that one of their worst fears was realized, in fact, is that huge numbers of those animals are stolen pets. So if you can stop and think about that for a second, this is, this is the importance of sharing this message and getting the word out and getting people who aren't aware and aren't involved, involved and active and doing something about this, writing to your MPs, signing petitions, doing whatever you need to do. Imagine if you have a pet, dog or cat, how awful it would be if you lost that animal, full stop. But if you lived in a country where the likelihood is that it's been stolen by a gang of people who steal pets in order to torture, kill and eat them, then we're, we're getting into the realms of the incomprehensible. So. I know that's awful and I, and I hate to share grisly detail um, but, and I'm not showing anything, I just need to say it and we need to spread this message and um, so please use this video as an opportunity to do that without showing some kind of um, gruesome video or photograph which I'm sure you guys have seen and like everybody else we all kind of tend to scroll on by and we can't unsee those things so I don't want to do that but I do need to say what has to be said which is why I've done this broadcast and I do ask that you as I say please share this and, and let's get the word out to make people who aren't aware aware of it because it needs to be dealt with and it's um it's a huge huge campaign that's already you'll be joining an enormous force of people who don't feel that this is okay and that we're not prepared to to accept it um and as I said if you have any uh, awareness of events that are taking place or if you want to create or host your own event please let the guys at worldwide awareness know um and uh, and they will collaborate with you and help help to uh, spread the message and to ensure that to the best of their ability your event is a success as well there's a lot of wonderful wonderful people t working tirelessly to, to to do what they can um, to to quash this just unthinkable trade so um, please help if you can and um, as I said uh, I think some of you guys already have have done this um, I've, I'm going to put, if they haven't already appeared, I'm going to put some petitions, links to petitions. In fact, there we go, Nom Ali, thank you so much. There's, there's one there already. We need three million signatures. We're up against it here, guys, and we, we you know, we need to, we need to rally the troops and, uh, and get some, get some people behind this campaign. So let's end it and, and uh, imagine, you know, man's best friend and, and the, and the cat and these beautiful animals that to give us unconditional love and and uh, and ask nothing from us other than to be uh, loved in return and there's people stealing them from their homes and torturing them and serving them as dinner that's uh, that's far from okay in anyone's book so let's uh, let's you know let's uh, get behind this and make it go away and so um, that's all from me for today. I want to keep this as short as possible so that you guys uh, can share it and people don't uh, switch off before it ends. But I'm over here in LA for another another few weeks and then I'm going to be going to uh, Belgium to collect King, the, the, the lion cub that was rescued from an abusive owner in Paris. He's currently in Belgium. We'll be taking him to the Chamoiry Game Reserve to Born Free Sanctuary there. So in about three weeks from now, join me on that journey. Um, I'll do as many live broadcasts as I possibly can from the road and we'll be getting a little lion cub home. So that'll be next. But uh, I wanted to just uh, share this dog and cat meat trade thing today. And uh, as I say, please share it as widely as possible. Let's get the message out and stop it from happening. Peace, love, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys.